Thinking about investing? It might feel confusing at first with all the new words, risks, and costs. You might even think putting your money in a savings account is simpler, but that might not be the best choice. Investing could help your money grow over time. With smart planning, you can lower the risks and make more money. Here in this video, we will tell you the two common ways of investing, dollar cost averaging and lump sum investing. We will also tell you the pros and cons of each of them and tell you which one suits you the best. So make sure to watch the video till the end. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Let's get started. Welcome to Money Mindset. Dollar Cost Averaging Dollar cost averaging is a way of investing money that's recommended by FINRA, a financial regulatory authority. This strategy involves dividing your funds into smaller parts and investing each part separately. Let's say you have $5,000 to invest. Instead of putting all $5,000 into investments at once, you could choose to invest $1,000 at specific intervals, like every month. With this approach, you might decide to invest $1,000 each month for five months. During this time, the market's value might go up and down. This means that in some months, your $1,000 could buy more investment shares, and in other months, it might buy fewer shares. The advantage of dollar cost averaging is that it lets you invest in a stable and controlled manner, which can reduce your overall investment risk. It also helps you develop a regular investing routine without giving in to the temptation of trying to predict the perfect moment to invest when the market is just right. This method encourages a disciplined approach to investing rather than relying on risky market timing strategies. Lump Sum Investing Lump Sum Investing stands as a direct contrast to the concept of dollar cost averaging. In the above scenario, let's say you have again $5,000 that you intend to channel into investments. With the approach of dollar cost averaging, you would gradually allocate this amount, spreading it out over several months. On the other hand, opting for the lump sum method entails an immediate and complete investment of the entire $5,000. This method refrains from breaking down the sum and dispersing it gradually over some time. Engaging in dollar cost averaging tends to mitigate risk, rendering it more manageable and agreeable. This technique involves making periodic investments over time, irrespective of market conditions. By doing so, the investor can potentially minimize the impact of market volatility. It functions as a kind of financial cushion, enabling one to purchase more shares when prices are low and fewer when prices are high. The goal here is to average out the cost of investments over the long run. Contrarily, lump sum investing offers the prospect of attaining greater returns. By immediately injecting the entire sum into the market, an individual can expose their investments to the entirety of market fluctuations. This implies that if the markets ascend, the potential gains could be substantial. However, it's imperative to recognize that this approach also entails a heightened exposure to losses in the event of market downturns. The larger stake committed can amplify both profits and losses, underlining the heightened risk associated with this method. As you may have already realized, each approach has benefits and drawbacks. Let's discuss them now. Pros and Cons of Dollar Cost Averaging Taking a slow and steady approach to investing can help you minimize emotional involvement. This approach involves building an investment habit regardless of the ups and downs of the economy. By doing so, you might avoid common emotional mistakes that investors often make. This strategy is beneficial for reducing risk. Since you're spreading your investments over time, the day-to-day -day market fluctuations have less impact compared to when you invest a lump sum all at once. However, there are some downsides to this method. While dollar cost averaging can help lower your average share prices and reduce risk, it might also lead to lower returns compared to investing in a lump sum. For instance, if you decide to invest $1,000 every month from January to May and the market goes up in February, investing the full $5,000 in January could have yielded higher returns. In this case, the $1,000 monthly investments might not go as far. Depending on how you execute this approach, you might incur more brokerage fees, which can eat into your overall returns. Lastly, consider you invest $1,000 and leave the remaining $4,000 in your account for future investments. There's a risk that you might be tempted to spend the $4,000 on something else instead of investing it. 
If you choose to adopt the dollar cost averaging approach, it's crucial to stay committed and avoid touching the money you've allocated for investment. This discipline will help you make the most of your investment strategy. Pros and Cons of Lump Sum Investing when you invest all your money at once, you're more likely to see quick results. This can be especially motivating for someone new to investing. In comparison to dollar cost averaging, lump sum investing often leads to higher returns. Have you ever heard of the connection between risk and reward in investments? However, it's important to note that along with the potential for greater rewards, there's also an increased level of risk involved. As you observe the market going up and down, it's crucial to manage the emotional aspect of investing. That feeling of wanting to time the market just right might arise. You might think you can withdraw or invest your money precisely at the perfect moment, but the reality is that this is quite unlikely. Developing strong emotional resilience is necessary, allowing your investment portfolio to adjust to the natural fluctuations of the economy. Lump sum investing doesn't instill good financial habits in the same manner that consistent investing does. Even if you choose to pursue this strategy, it's important to continue making regular investments in the future. Which one is right for you? Dollar cost averaging is a smart approach, particularly for individuals who are new to investing and wish to develop a consistent pattern of increasing their investment collection over time. This method involves investing a fixed amount of money at regular intervals, like monthly or quarterly. By doing so, the investor is less exposed to sudden market fluctuations, which can be emotionally taxing. However, it's worth noting that this strategy may yield comparatively modest returns and potentially lead to higher transaction costs, thus reducing the overall profit one might achieve. On the other side, lump sum investing is a suitable alternative for those who possess the ability to control the urge to time the market based on emotions. It demands confidence in maintaining sound investment practices in the long run. This tactic involves investing a substantial sum of money all at once, although it tends to offer the potential for greater returns given the likelihood of benefiting from market upswings, it also comes with heightened risks. Therefore, an investor who chooses this method should be prepared to navigate the potential volatility and uncertainty that come with investing larger sums in one go. Comparing dollar cost averaging with lump sum investing can be a helpful way to decide on the best approach for your investment strategy. Each method has its advantages and disadvantages. By considering the information provided, you can figure out which option suits you better and how each method aligns with your overall investment plan. I hope you enjoyed the video and find it both entertaining and educational. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell for more valuable content like this. Thanks for watching.